Hey guys, I wanted to tell you this before the video starts today, but um, I just wanted to thank you guys for always supporting me. You guys have been showing an immense amount of like support lately, and I, I, you guys have no idea how much I appreciate it. It's like, it's huge. I never expected the channel to be where it's at today. I know it's not the biggest, but it's, it's growing, and I know we'll get there eventually, but anyways, if you guys ever wanted to help like support the channel, and, and basically it's not for my pocket really, it's honestly, it's for parking. If you guys ever want to support the channel for the parking over here at Downtown Disney, I'll leave a link in the description. It's for my buy me a coffee. So if you guys want, you guys can um, actually buy me a coffee for however much you guys want. And it would help the channel a lot just by getting us here to park. Because uh, saving on that would help me a lot. You know, I never did this before just because, you know, it was free. So there's no reason to actually ask for it. But now $30 in for the week, it's going to get, it's going to start getting expensive. So. You know, if you, you guys honestly do not have to though, but if you guys would like to help, it's in the description. All right, and now, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are back at Buena Vista Street inside of DCA. And let me show you guys the line just to get into Five and Dime. It's insane. So right now, to get into Five and Dime or any of the shops over here by Elias and Company and all that, it's actually a virtual queue. So you'd have to come up to this stand right here and then scan the code and then sign up for the virtual queue over here for Five and Dime, which the line already, after you get a text back, it's all this. It surrounds all that. It goes around where the, the Christmas tree usually goes. And then just goes back that way. So there's a, see that sign right there that lady's holding? It says line forms here. I think that's where the line is. That's insane. I would, I would not wait in that. I'm, I'm not even kidding. Uh, I went to World of Disney today and it was empty. This is insane. And it, right now it's about 1224. So it's it's pretty busy already. All right guys, so today Disneyland on Instagram announced that uh, you can make an online reservation with Carthay Circle. But because of that reason, a lot of people made reservations and now it's booked. So if you don't come to your reservation though, it is $10 per person in your, your party. So make sure you guys come to your reservations. But there is one piece of good news. I believe Carthay Circle opens like at 11.30. You can come and do like a walk-in if you're lucky enough. And you have until 12.30 for that. Well, after that time, no more walk-ins. But if you do check the website, they do. You may get lucky and find uh, reservations some days here and there, sprinkled throughout like the, the upcoming month. But you have to do like a party of four. If you do like party of three, like Mondo's been trying, you can't find it. Dang it! It's, they are catering to party of four on the Disneyland app uh, because when we bring it on the same day, exact same time, party of three, it, the reservation doesn't come up. But if you do a party of four, it does come up. So be wary of that. Reservations of four are priority right now, in my opinion, for Carthay Circle. That's a Five Fires tips and tricks. All right, so we're over here by Cars Land. Well, this is as far as we can actually go into the, the park, but, but I just noticed there's this hand washing station over here in the Cars Land area, which I don't believe that was there the other day. I'm not sure, don't quote me. But I feel like things like that and hand sanitizing stations and then like health and safety reminders, I feel like that's all a good sign that we'll probably be able to enter this area soon. Hopefully anyways, because this is where I want to be at all in this area. Well, here's a quick updated look at Buena Vista Street. We're over here, like, I guess you could say like the hub area. And it is super busy. The line for Five and Dime is still humongous. But I think we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back to Downtown Disney where it's a lot less crazy. Cause look, look at this crowd, it's huge. All right, so we've left Buena Vista Street and we came over here by the queuing and this is all standby. Currently no virtual queue to get in. So over at the home store, they finally released the, the Christmas tumblers over here. You were able to get the ESPN zone and they have quite a few over here at the entrance. I believe those tumblers are $23.99 when they're released at the ESPN zone, but now you can find them way at the home store. So come get them while you can. All right, so we decided to come over here to World of Disney and check out a couple of the new things that came out today. The line's currently a standby, so it shouldn't be that long until we get in. All right guys, so we just entered the World of Disney and we just saw some New spiritures, which I can't wait to show you guys. Look at this. So I'm not sure like what the name is for this collection, but it's super soft. It's like super fuzzy and fluffy and all that. It looks very warm. And then let me show you guys the back. It says Disneyland Resort in like that puffy paint. And if you guys are wondering, these are this one is a uh, $79.99. And then there's another one, which I actually like this one better because it's like the darker gray. And you got little Mickey's right there. And this one's like super uh, fluffy as well. Very soft and looks really warm as well. And then let me show you guys the back. You got the Disneyland Resort and the black puffy paint. And these are just really nice. And these are like right next to the entrance. As soon as you walk in, make a left and they're right here. So they released another collection over here. I believe this one's called Sequent Lounge. 
I believe it's what it's called. And basically everything has sequence on it. So they have this one with the year Disneyland opened, 1955 Disneyland Resort on the bottom. Nothing on the back. This one is $44.99. And they also have like some like I guess joggers or pants. Same color, sequence on the side. These are these are $49.99. Five dollars more than the shirt. And if you move on over here, there's like a it looks like a thermal almost, but very thin. Sleeves also have that thermal material. It says Disney on the front. It's got a very shiny pocket over here. This shirt is $44.99. So I guess everything's between $44.99 and $49.99. And then lastly, there's like this little hoodie shirt. Disneyland Resort. You got the very sequenced hood over here. This one is $49.99. Wow, 50 bucks for this. It's pretty, it's pretty expensive. But it goes from an extra small to 2X like all the other merchandise here. All right, so some time has passed, but we left the world of Disney and uh, there wasn't too much merch today. That's why you know, we kind of left like right away. But one thing I forgot to show you guys is that they did release a Mandalorian shirt. I'm gonna put this like right here. And actually like that, I think that's like probably one of my favorite things that came out today. But now we're currently in the standby line for uh, Star Wars Trading Post. And then I think we're gonna call it a day. So we finally made it into the Star Wars Trading Post and check it out. They have a new Spirit Jersey here as well. So today's been a good, pretty good day for Spirit Jerseys. So the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on the back. And then it's got that, that cool, like, I don't know, it almost looks like maroon, maybe. I think it's like a faded red. <laughs> and then they got like an off-white coat on the bottom. It says Black Spire Outpost with the Galaxy's Edge logo. And then it says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge right there. This is a pretty nice spirit jersey. This one is $69.99. And you can find it here at the Dream Post. And on top of the spirit jersey, they have this really cool tumbler. This one is $22.99. It says Star Wars Galaxy's Edge on it. It's really nice. And then I'm not sure what this says. If you can read this, let me know what this says. <laughs> I can't read this. They brought a lot of R2D2 stuff too. They have oven mitts. They have this pretty cool apron over here. Mugs. This one for sure. I've seen this one at Galaxy's Edge. They have these. I think they're called bottle stoppers, wine. They're for your wine bottles. They have the R2-D2 head bowl, it's pretty cool. They have these mugs over here. They have these kitchen towels, and they have like plates. There's just like a bunch of stuff for your house. All right guys, we just left the Star Wars Trading Post. I just want to show you guys this before I end the video. Downtown Disney really transforms into Christmas at night. Check out this tree, look how beautiful that is. And the snowflakes on top, that's amazing. Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.